Once again, back here in the kitchen with Chef Gino Moroni of Bisque Restaurant in Cherry Creek. Good morning, Maureen. Thanks for being here again Thanks this morning. And I always luck out with the uh, series of uh, segments on the show. We uh, do our cooking segments. Usually dessert is the last nice. one. Nice. So. Well, today we have a fabulous dessert. Okay, what do we um, got? Today's very exciting to be on the culinary scene in Denver. It's, it's really up and coming. Um, of course, ingredients these days with... Uh, the uh, travel and, and the accessibility around the globe. Ingredients are not just locally sourced, but you know, you're able to source things from around the world, which makes it fabulous. So this morning we're gonna do another uh, uh, Italian dish. This is a panna cotta, which is a, an Italian custard. It's, it's sort of a take on a brulee or a, maybe a Spanish flan, but the Italians use um, Heavy cream. We're going to use a couple cups of heavy cream here. Okay. We're going to put that in our pot, and we're going to take some. Uh, it's made with a gelatin, so you don't uh, bake this in the oven like a flan or a creme brulee. We're going to put some gelatin in some buttermilk here. We're going to make a buttermilk citrus panna cotta, okay. which is yeah, a nice acidity to go with the sweetness, and it's fabulous for springtime. Great we're for the summer months if we don't have to turn the oven great on. Great for the summer months. No oven. Chill it in the refrigerator when it's ready. We're going to set our gelatin into our buttermilk and let that sit a minute. We're going to warm up our heavy cream. To that, we're going to add Just a, half a little a bit cup of, sugar. of sugar. We're going to put a couple tablespoons of honey in there. All great ingredients. Some natural sweetness, absolutely. All good for you. We have a little orange zest here that we've, excuse me, zested up. And we're gonna just chop that up a little bit. That's gonna give some fabulous and this is something that... Depth of flavor into the cream. And you could probably use anything if you want to use lemon you or... You can use lemons, you can use limes, you could use a little coconut milk instead of buttermilk. And, oh, that sounds good. And, and some limes and make sort of a pina colada sort of panna cotta. That sounds We're gonna good We're going to put too. a little bit of the juice, sorry, excuse me. That's okay. Have the orange right into there, right into our cream as we let it heat up. And then, then you just cook that... when the cream gets warm, we just cook that up. Um, you can add a little vanilla bean if you like. We're going to take a couple ramekins. We have a little candied orange peel to go on there. We'll set that right in the bottom. When everything is warmed up, we would take our buttermilk and we would add that right to our cream. Okay. Bring that to a boil for two minutes and you'll see it sort of thicken a little bit. Once that sets, you'll pour this warm cream right into the ramekin. Mm -hmm and then set them in the refrigerator to chill. Cover them with a little plastic wrap. And there's when you're our, ready to use them, take them out, set them in a little warm water, and that, or wrap it with a warm towel just to pull it away from the sides. Take a nice sharp knife and run it around the edges to loosen it up a little awesome. bit. And then take it out and actually we'll right set this on one there. right here. And, this, and real turn quick, it over and it comes right out. Wonderful, and this one we can get at your restaurant in Cherry Creek North. You can get it in Cherry Creek North, a little fresh basil, a little Balsamic okay. strawberry so we do on these, there. these uh, finishing touches. We're going to send things back over to Christine. Toasted almonds. Fabulous. Awesome. Nice spring dessert. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks for being for here this us. morning. Absolutely. And again, a wonderful dessert that I get to have on my segment here. But Beautiful. Christine, we'll save some for you. Thank